Hi guys, Vikas over here, and you are watching We Are Genius. Guys, this is the third video in the series IoT with Raspberry Pi, and that is using Java. And as you know, the series is divided into sensor interfacing using Pi 4J, REST API usage with Java, MQTT usage with Java, and finally adding all to the same project and running over Raspberry Pi. In the last couple of videos, we saw how to interface DS18B20 one-way temperature sensor with Raspberry Pi with the help of Pi 4J library and sending out data to ThinkSpeak by using the REST API with the help of UniREST Java library. And we tested out both on Raspberry Pi and those ran successfully on it. So if you have not checked those, you can certainly do that and for which I have provided the links down below in the description. This video is the third in the series where we will see how to publish or send sensor data using MQTT API to cloud. And in this, we are using ThinkSpeak as cloud service provider to publish data as we did with the REST API also. Publishing data using MQTT is done using Eclipse PAHO Lightweight Library. And if you are thinking about MQTT and what's that, it's a simple lightweight publish subscribe protocol that can be used over TCP instead of going for HTTP. As MQTT is power friendly and bandwidth friendly as compared to HTTP. So it fits perfect for IoT applications. So if you are interested in more about it, I'll certainly leave links to some documents about it down below in the description. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, to start with this, let's first navigate to thinkspeak.com. As I said earlier, we'll be publishing our data to ThinkSpeak. And I have already created a channel over here where I can publish my data. So if you are new to this, like you are not aware of how to create channel and all, just check out my earlier tutorial where I have shown how to create your own channel and publish data using REST API to ThinkSpeak. So to continue with this, let's straight away get into the documentation of ThinkSpeak. We'll see how to use the MQTT API of the thinkspeak.com. And over here, channel and charts API, get into MQTT API. And over here, you can see different configurations and parameters. Those are required for MQTT API. So just copy this one. The topic we'll be publishing to, to any text page or notepad, whatever. Then we need to uh, like have these three things set whenever you are publishing data to through the MQTT API to ThinkSpeak. Yeah, this uh, supports MQTT version 3.1.1 specifications. So that to be uh, that has to be kept in mind. Now let's copy this one. Like how to send data. Just put it over here. Okay, these are all the data that we require to publish. Uh, except I need few more. That it's the broker ID and all. Now one more thing we need is the IP address of this things pick MQTT interface, and that is this one mqtt.thingspec.com and with that we need the port number so over here you are having different ports for different type of communication but uh, as I am using non-encrypted TCP connection so I will just copy 1883 that is the port number for this so over here we need channel ID as well as the API key so let's get into our channel and over here copy the channel id and we need the right api keys and this is this one okay so we are good to go to publish our data to thinkspeak with these things now one thing i need to tell you is thinkspeak doesn't support mqtt subscribe so so if you want to subscribe to your channels to get data out of it, it is not possible by using ThingSpeak. So if you are interested in like both subscribing as well as publishing your data to a particular topic, you can't do it with 
things big so you can go ahead with any online mqtd service broker so so that is not being provided by things big so you can go ahead with any other service other than things big so but for the tutorial time being as we are going to only publish data i'll go ahead with things big so now as we have all data that is required to publish our data to things big by using mqtd let's go ahead and create our java application that will be used to publish our data to things big so let's close this one now i'll continue with the project that we created earlier on eclipse that is iot app and over here for mqtd interface i'll create another class again this is a continuation of project so if you are like not aware of this you can check out my earlier tutorials on this like interfacing sensor as well as like sending data to things pick using the rest api so let's go ahead click create a new class file that is send data using mqtt create on folder there is in ingenious mq tt so just click on this now let's just copy this code over here which i have provided the link to this code down below in the description that is in my github repository to our eclipse project and uh, as you can see it is throwing up exception because it is dependent upon paho library that is one library that is being provided by Eclipse Foundation for MQTT services and all. So to use that with our Java project, we just need to download the Java file of Paho library. So to do that, just simply Google Paho jar file and uh, over here get into this jardownload.com and it will come with all dependencies so it will not be required to add all dependencies individually so uh, there is a new version so get into new version so again uh, i have provided the link for this in the description down below now one more thing is if you are using maven to manage your like dependencies and all you can certainly go ahead with that but if you are using uh, like jar files like me on your project you can just download this one now after download finishes uh, get into the folder extract the zip file so okay you will uh, see something like eclipse Paho client mqtt v3 uh, like 1.1.1 that is the version that is being supported by things pick also so let's add this to our project to do that let's get into build path configure build path add external jars again uh, if you are new to like application development using java for raspberry pi you can check out my earlier tutorial on this so let's add this one now over here let's get through the code so first thing that you need to mention is the broker url that is as we copied from thingspick.com mq.thingspick.com and the port is 1883 and which you can see over it and it supports tcp communication only so as we are going for mqtt you don't need to use http and all so now uh, we need to have some client id that you can mention a name that has to be unique for your each publication or each uh, like each different channels or different services that you are using through Peho library or the MQT library that we are using and the channel that contains like first channel then the channel ID then publish and API key so you just need to change the API key as well as like channel ID and as mentioned over here you need to have QoS 0 so I mentioned over here like QoS of 0 then over here this is a simple piece of code that I have taken from 
the MQ, uh, MQ examples, but I have modified it to suit my needs. So you can just go through that, and if you are like want to know about particular function and all what it does, you can certainly go through the payload library documentation for all these things. So I'll just cover up the important things; those are required. So over here we have created like some connection options and all, and you need to mention set clean session true. So as it is mentioned by thinkspeak.com, that is the requirement. So over here you can see clean session has to be one. So you just need to mention set clean session true. Then you need to have a MQ client, and for that we need broker URL that we mentioned earlier over here. TCP slash mqdthingspeak.com port number is one double eight three. Then simple. We are generating a simple client ID. So if you are using this, like generate client ID, you don't need to mention your client ID over here. So otherwise, if you are not interested in auto generation of client ID, you can hard code your client ID like this. So if you are not using this, you can simply replace it with client ID over here. Now we are having some temporary data storage for our messages and all. There is a simple callback method which is called whenever the message is successfully delivered or new message is new message arrives whenever you are subscribed to any uh, like topic and it contains different method like message arrived this is called whenever we get a new message from topic we have subscribed then delivery complete whenever you are publishing our data and the data has been successfully published then connection lost is called or it is automatically called when the connection to the broker url is lost now over here these are some simple scripts you can go through it and finally over here i am connecting to the client before that i am checking if i am already connected i'll disconnect it and again disconnect then over here you just having the publish method that is called publish data to the broker so this is uh, something simple print statement that is printing out the time that we are sending the data so messages will contain our data so we are creating one more new message that is out of data there is a string type so we'll simply have that we are passing that over here so we'll get into that and then after that we are setting up that quality of service that is qos that is zero that is as required by thingspeak you can check out over here sorry this one now set return is a set false which is again required by thingspeak and finally it publishes the message to the channel now come into this function over here publish string data we need to call this from our main class so now let's get into main class and i'll just comment out the rest api that we did last time and i'll create one object of send data using mqtt uh, this constructor is by default called so don't need to call it again and I'll finally publish my data so I'll just call the function mqtt dot publish and the string of data and for things pick if you are sending like particularly it has to be the data has to be like something field equals the value you want to send so for time being i'll just send field one equals 65 degree let's say as we are sending out the temperature data now along with that you can also mention other parameters like mentioned in the thingspeak.com documentation over here we can certainly push our data that is like filled all those things you can publish latitude longitude elevation status then if you want to tweet it Twitter and all those things created time and all these things you can send along with your data but I'm just not using it but if you are interested you can certainly append your 
parameters or the values over here with and symbol and you can continue with second parameter and like that with and 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 all so you can just uh, check out over here how to like send multiple data okay so let's keep this thing now as all we are almost done let's run this file once and we'll create our jar file out of it and we'll run on raspberry pi and you can see over here on the console it is like saying connected then it has successfully published our data to the topic that we have given with qos0 so let's uh, create the jar file and we'll run it on pi to do that get into project right click select runnable jar file like main class output file click yes yes for the time being let's go with the warning okay now let's have ssh connection to our pi by using putty and winsb so i'll be using winsb to transfer our jar files to the raspberry pi and we'll run it by using putty select your jar files click upload now meantime let's open up putty and as transfer is completed let's run it on raspberry pi to do that use the command sudo java jar desktop slash test dot jar now you can see over here it has successfully published the data and same as qs0 and the data that is 65 as we are sending right now so let's get to things pick and see if our data is really published on that to do that get into your channel get into private view okay i i have just uh, got into the wrong channel so as you can see over here it has updated the channel about a minute ago and with data that is 65 that we sent from our application so that's all with this guys uh, we have successfully published our data to our things pick channel by using mqtt ap or the mqtt interface and for that we have used the paho library that is provided by eclipse foundation for java and all other programming languages so as over here using java we have used the java library of that and we are able to send data to things pick so that's all for today hope you have enjoyed this as this is the third video in the series the next one will be the final one where we will combine all other things like the rest api sensor interfacing mqt interface and all the things and we'll try to send data to things pick so see you next time with the next video Till then, goodbye.